On June 12, 2022, Astrospace's Rocket 3 lifted off from Launch Pad 46 in Florida. Unfortunately, its payload, two tropic satellites dedicated to study of hurricanes, failed to reach orbit due to a failure of the launcher's second stage. The investigation into the incident has recently concluded, and it has been determined that a combustion chamber wall burn through in the Ether rocket engine was responsible for the failure. In order to better understand the outcome of the investigation, it is essential to delve into the design of rocket engines. These engines generate a considerable amount of heat, which can even burn through the nozzle and combustion chamber. Regenerative cooling is a technique employed to prevent this by circulating fuel through tiny channels in the walls of the combustion chamber and nozzle to absorb the heat. In the case of the ether engine on the second stage of Rocket 3, kerosene was used as the coolant. However, during the launch, the engine's injectors stopped releasing most of the fuel into the combustion chamber, leading to the malfunction. It was later revealed that vaporized fuel that had entered the injector was the cause of the issue. You may now ask yourself why the fuel was vaporized. An acceptance testing of the second stage engines is performed in a regular atmospheric pressure. Therefore, ambient air compresses exhaust gases which are not allowed to expand and they don't touch the nozzle, which in turn is not heated much. In contrast, during an operational flight, the second stage engine operates in an environment close to a vacuum. So the hot gases expand much more and come to a full contact with the nozzle walls. As a result, the nozzle heats up much more than during ground tests. So now we have explained all the technical issues and can move on to a description of the cause of the incident. The ether engine design had too little margin for the fuel temperature range. On the day of launch, the air temperature in Florida was higher than during previous launches of this rocket. So a few degrees difference in fuel temperature was probably critical. Slight damage to the protective coating on the combustion chamber walls, which is supposed to limit heat transfer, may also have played a role. After the second stage engine ignited, the nozzle walls began to heat up due to the flow of exhaust gas, but the slightly heated fuel flowing in the cooling channels was not able to absorb as much heat and began to boil. This not only made the engine's cooling capabilities even worse, but the resulting bubble also largely disabled the fuel injector. This all came to a head 18 seconds after ignition, when the combustion chamber wall could no longer withstand the high temperature of the exhaust gases and burn through. Then, the fuel began to flow from the damaged cooling channels into the combustion chamber. 250 seconds after the ether engine ignited, the fuel tank was empty, while the oxygen tank still contained 20% of liquid oxygen. Due to an incorrect mixing ratio, the rocket did not reach the speed required to reach orbit and broke up in the atmosphere together with its payload. For Astra, the results of the investigation are very important, even though Rocket 3 has already been decommissioned due to its unreliability. The results of the investigation will provide engineers a valuable feedback, so they will be better prepared for the development of a new rocket which could be more reliable than its predecessor. After several delays, the Falcon 9 rocket launched on the Starlink 2-7 mission on 3rd of March. 51 Starlink communication satellites were delivered into orbit, and the first stage, flying on its 12th mission, landed on an autonomous drone ship. Ariane Space announced what led to the failure of their Vega C rocket in December. According to the investigation, a malfunction of the Zephyro 42nd stage was to blame. The company has therefore rescheduled the launch of another payload to an older version of the Vega rocket that does not use this stage. Thank you for watching today's episode of Spaceflight News. If there's anything you're interested in, we'd be happy to have you leave a comment.